everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Portland Open, presented by Latitude 64. I'm Rebecca Cox. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And you're listening to Coxcomb Commentary. Oh, yeah. And this is the back nine of the third round mm-hmm. here at Glendevere Disc Golf Course, playing the east side this time. Yeah, love the east side. Beautiful day, a little bit of wind. We're watching Kristen Tatar do what she does best, absolutely shred, in other words. Sayanana keeping pace, but still sitting seven strokes back. Juliana having a good round and then just a pretty uh, big error on the uh, last hole, but still under par for the round. Ella Hansen, three under so far. Everyone shooting well. Yeah, everyone has their own way of navigating this course. I mean, we have a collective six world titles on this card. So we're going to see a lot of really good golf. Starting out with hole 10, 605 feet, par four, I'm not really sure that sand trap comes into play, that first one that we see, but you're just trying to land into this grassy field. The upshot is really the most important thing. We have a ton of danger. The long OB line, the OB green in front of the basket, the sand traps. And as you can see, the basket is atop this teeny little hill that just makes it that much more difficult. Yeah, super risky to try to land this one close for a birdie. A lot of roll away potential. See a lot of turnover shots from here. That left side looks open, but there's a huge sand trap over there. Man, Sai annihilated that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sai and Juliana are great examples of just controlled power. Just you don't think by looking at them, you're like, oh. <laughs> but then they throw and you're like, whoa. whoa. That T pad thing still gets me. Sai uses like 20% of the T pad. Kristen at Target, getting a little close to that tree, but ends up with the full fly of the disc. It's not bad on the left over there. I think you're slightly more obstructed, but it is a shorter distance to now get to the pin. If you're able to get left enough, you can have a more open Mm -hmm. shot, but it's straight over all the danger, so you have to make some decisions. Ella hitting a tree and almost bringing that bunker into play, probably because Rebecca, you know, brought it to our attention. I know. Juliana flexing one out there. I believe that was her star turn. Ella just playing for par from here. It's up. Yeah, smart to take the right side, massive hyzer. Just get yourself up there as far as you can. Oh, man. Oh, no. oh it's good. Oh, it's, it's really good. good. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, definitely the most mm-hmm. room on the right side following that hyzer path. She should be within circle two, the basket from there. Should probably be a really tough, outside. tough one for a left-handed player. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juliana in circle two, most likely gonna be a layup. Now Kristen's got a window on this left side here. Love it. I also love it. I think the wind is left to right, so that'll help with the flight of the disc. Really, the only danger she has is the green, as long as she's able to push it far enough forward, which she did. Oh, wow. She'll have an uphill putt looking at her birdie. Amazing. Is that that her drive? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Right. Kind of fluffs the upshot a little bit. Yeah, it Um, brings the green into play, but she's fine. That'll be a circle's edge putt. Ella... (laughs) Inches from that hazard. Kind of jump putting Jumping into, into the hazard. Trap. Wow. Cool Good play. Commitment there, yeah. Smart. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like she's lining this one up. Oh, yeah. No doubt. She probably has a bit of a tailwind. That's the danger, though. It needs to come back in. Oh, I think that stayed in. I think so, too. Very brave. More of a putt than you want for a par, though. Yeah, she's almost looking about the same distance here, maybe a little shorter. Nice. I think it's the great thing about having a really confident putt is that you feel like you can go for anything because you know you're going to make the comeback. Yeah. What a great birdie. There cannot have been too Mm -hmm. many birdies here on the day. (laughs) I'm just going to start making motivational posters, like 
that that smile and point Kristen just did. I'm just gonna make that into a motivational poster, <laughs> just for me. Okay, you can do it. A handful of women. A lot of women actually very. Really? Well. More than I was expecting. Yeah. It's like eight or nine. Yeah. Fantastic. That's cool. Yeah, nine. Wow. Oh, 11, long par five, over a thousand feet. Um, you want to get kind of past those first set of trees if you can on the first shot. There is a mandatory way to the right that doesn't come super into play. Second shot, you're trying to get into the second tree line if you can throw that far, um, which is a nice huge downhill shot. And then the third shot is typically, it just depends on where you land, obviously on the second. I know that sounds really obvious, but sometimes it's a flex, I would say, probably most often, but you can throw a hyzer or there's some forehand lines. It just, there's so much room to go yeah. left or right on the second shot. There's a lot of variety on this hole. It's really about how you feel comfortable attacking it. It's in getting, oh, she's a little close to that tree. So far though. Yeah, she's way up there, but I think her footing is gonna be. I bet she can just step difficult. out and throw like a standstill sidearm though. Mm -hmm. I kind of like this right side that Sai is doing. I don't know if she got quite as much turn as you'd want. She gets caught oh, up as well. another tree. I mean, that's really the only mistake you can make on this hole is mm -hmm. landing right next to one of those trees. Well, it's hard to plan it. Ooh, this looks like a roller. Please be a roller. That's oh, that yeah. Active premium genius, which is just very fun to say. Can I just roll up that tree yeah. and stop? Yeah. Bummer. Okay, so that's our third shot we see next to a tree. That's crazy. Let's see if Juliana can get one through clean. Turns it over with something a little stable. I really like that. Yeah, this is my preferred play. I think there's just a bit more room on this right side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes a lot to get to that right side Mando. It does. You really have or to, to miss one it over. at least, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how much power she put on that. Really amazing power for how awkward that yeah, how looked. She was very pinched. Out to the side she had to be. That was very fun. A lot of little skips and rolls. And she can still get a birdie from there. Absolutely. Juliana with the best footing here can go full backhand turnover. It almost looked like a roller angle for half a second, but. Oh, I love this. She knows her just way too well. Oh my gosh. So far. <sighs> Side up against the tree a little bit. Looks like she's going full run up. Nice. Yeah. I like how she approached that. Kind of with the hyzer so she can keep it closer to her body without having to deal with that tree as much. Definitely a very you professional shot. It. No, I said standstill. She's oh. going run up. Well, still forehand. That's a little low, but fine. I mean, I guess it's not. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's throwing downhill, so <laughs> low is yeah. fine. Ella's third shot. Yeah, she's really gonna take advantage of being out in the open here. Usually you throw on the right side and you can throw either a flex shot or something that pushes really straight. Oh, Ella's she's actually doing the going flex. the kind of really flippy flex. Sweet. Great. Ella gonna be just outside the circle. It's always fun to see the shot decision on this final approach shot. There's so many ways to attack. Yeah, there's so many different avenues. Do like here's one I've never seen. Kind of taking like the right side, back side of the yeah. I mean, she fairway. Was I mean, she kind of almost pin high. Yeah, she got close. so far down there. Kristen going forehand, also not something you yeah she's, see quite as often. She's way on the left. Kind of fight through some stuff. Oh, it does. Oh, don't worry. I think she's going to be somewhere near the circle. Yeah. Get a long putt for a birdie. Is that going the turnover route? I'm a little bit surprised that she's running up. I guess she still is a little... Oh. Well, she took some wood chips with her. Probably about 70, 75 feet. 
gives it a look. Yeah. I feel like her foot was behind a mini right there. Oh, I didn't really see. Kristen from, gotta be at least 45 feet. Oh, a little low, but her circle two bids when she misses, always stay close. Mm -hmm. Bella just a little bit outside the circle. We've already seen her make one from this distance. Give it to her. Oh, yeah. There you go, Ella. <laughs> Breathe a little sigh of relief. <laughs> Juliana for her birdie. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stoked to get that one. It's so fun to be able to attack a over 1,000 foot par five. Yeah. Like, I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, some great scores out here. Chris Tatar at six down now. Eight strokes over Sayonata, who's now tied with Paige Pierce, who's seven down through 13. 12, 270 feet, par three, pretty straightforward. There is a mandal to the right, but that's pretty pretty wide. Not really a route anybody's dying to take. Uh, you wanna throw, honestly, a fairway, a neutral fairway to kind of push through the trees, or you can try and throw something a little more stable, give it some anhyzer and let it flex around the tree. I think most of us are throwing fairways, but I bet a lot of them will throw mids. I mean, it is reachable for a mid. You just have to work harder. Well, you have to like throw a little higher and yeah. there is a ceiling there. Yeah, so, so you Ella, have to throw see. it harder and you have to throw it higher, which kind of brings the trees into play. Mm -hmm. like me, Ella's like MD1, me. finding the ceiling there. Juliana actually going turn, going with what she knows. Trying to take that middle gap, but she'll have one a look pun. at it. Yeah, she'll have a look at it. This is definitely one that you want to get. Yeah, it's got to play as one of the easiest holes. Yeah. I mean. It is. It's just right there, staring you in the face, saying, why are you here if you can't birdie me? <laughs> <laughs> is that just me? That was just my personal monologue. <laughs> You're escaping. <laughs> Kristen going to be, I think, right around Circle's Edge, just outside. Side keeping it maybe just a touch there. too low. Needs some ground play. Yeah. And, I mean, if you don't get the birdie, you're likely to get the par. It's not really a hole with a lot of danger. It's just... No. Just hurts It's not a gimme, ego. but it's a, it's <laughs> you a don't musket. Have a putt, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're like, 270 feet? What do you mean I'm 60 feet short? Uh-huh. I think this course does a really good job of having a lot of attackable holes, but none of them are, are easy or boring. Like, they all yeah. have an appropriate level of challenge. Ella leaves her bid a little high and floaty. Juliana from 38. Stepper. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Just over the top. Love the commitment. Kristen from about Circle's Edge. I suddenly feel better about my par on this hole. <laughs> yeah, surprised to see her leave it a little bit low there. It is surprising to not see one of them either get in the circle or make one or, of the putts. Yeah. Very surprised not to see a birdie. But, you know, it happens. And then we, we move on and never think about it again. <laughs> what a great Saturday gallery. Oh, yeah. Beautiful day. Sometimes galleries are shy too, but this one was like loud, excited oh, yeah. to be here. I was hearing it from halfway across the course. All over the course. Did awesome. someone just ace? Yeah. Oh no, someone just made a putt. Cool. Yeah, like a good They're hype. Putt. Yeah. Love it. Hey, 
John said we're getting an anomalous critical failure on your suit. Could you please confirm status? Sorry, man. Warning. No option. Hole 13, another par 3, 280 feet. Uh, there are a couple different gaps you can take. Kind of three main ones, left, middle, right. Uh, I kind of like the right one. Um, with something like a little flexy, you see a lot of straight down the middle shots. It's another one, the gap is just tight enough where it's, yeah, it's not a gimme, even though it's only 280 feet. I have not seen the sidearm play, actually. I haven't really seen it either. I, I don't think the wind was very favorable for me at the, when I got to this hole. And she threw that a little bit wide. Yeah, I'm gonna be way short mm -hmm. just playing for par. I mean, the shortest way to the basket is straight to it, basically. But I think the most or open way is doing what Juliana is doing. It's yes, taking this absolutely. right side. Like, look at this huge gap. Mm -hmm. So good. She'll be in the circle for her birdie. Fantastic. It's definitely one you want to get as well. Basic hyzer up there. Looks like Kristen might have a mid. Uh, Grand Glory, actually, which is oh, your that seven is, speed. Right? Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just like the previous hole, obviously these women can get there with a mid-range, 280 feet, but why work that hard, you know? Choose yeah. the easiest possible shot, and that's something overstable that you can just throw to the right and let it fall into the basket. So I just a touch early on her yeah, hyzer line. short. Ella, I'm not really sure what gap she's looking at here. Going out and around. That'd work. Solid. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't quite kick it up in there. Yeah, I like I like the little twirly dance though. Yeah. There's a little bit of wind out there. Nothing intense, but some gusts have to come in it. every now and again. Juliana coming up short. Mm. That's like, in my opinion, the worst feeling miss when you come up short like that. Like I'd rather air ball or hit band. Oh, because yeah. then it had a chance. Every time I hit the band, I'm like, ah, oh, all right, I'm fine, uh. it's fine. Kristen not leaving that one low. And this did play as the easiest hole of the day, 35% of the field birdieing it. So surprised to see that only one person on this card was able to get that birdie. Mm -hmm. But again, take your par and move on. Tar with the lead, Ananda and Pierce tied at the moment. Yeah, Paige, same score as Kristen, though. A little bit ahead of her, obviously. Hole 14, 610 feet, par four. A dog leg to the right. We have a mango tree right off the bat where you choose a gap either straight down the middle or the left side of that tree. Um, I mean, the drive really isn't that big of a deal as long as you're able to get good footing. The, ba uh, the OB line next to the basket creeps super close it does get close uh forehand is a great play mm -hmm. the backhand through the skinny gap on the right here that Kristen is going through feels feels really tight but the forehand it's wide open if you're able to maybe take something that'll flip up on its own mm -hmm. maybe throw it with a little hyzer through the middle i can see that that's my preferred line yeah um you same. do see some ladies go all the way out to the left side though mm-hmm Hello with a great forehand of her own. Two people on my card through the wide left side roller. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Sweet. We are starting to see a lot more rollers in FPO. It's really fun to watch. Juliana going. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> going air shot. Well done. It's hard to get much more distance with that when you take that really wide route. Mm -hmm. And I think Sai is lining up the skinny route with something flippy. Oh, 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 love that. Yeah. Beautiful. So much distance. Yeah. That's the way you draw it up. And like, she doesn't even need all that distance, but she's just so good at it. And it's cool. 
Juliana up first with her approach. This is a pretty full rip here. Yeah, I like, I love the shot shape here. Pretty. Very nice. This is another one where if you get off the tee pretty well, it you really want to get close. Yeah. Let's see if we can see uh, the Mount St. Helens in the background. What a pretty backdrop. Oh yeah, this it's so gorgeous. Everywhere you go on this course. I love how wide this is. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna get a nice skip. Mm hmm, not as big of a skip as I thought, yeah. Just kind of have to deal with that tree a little bit, but hopefully not too much. Ella looks like she's taking the wide hyzer. Yeah, it's definitely the play. It kind of needs to get down. I don't want to skip juiced, at the basket. It? Yeah. Okay. It, at least she went too far forward. If, if you let it skip too much, like at the basket, it can definitely yeah, trickle OB, OB on that left side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Side close enough that she is a slow speed disc in hand. Yeah, it looks like a harp. Mm -hmm. It does. Oh yeah, bullseye. Yeah, two bullseye looks on this on this hole. Ella coming back at it from circle two deep. Little come on, drive oh. jumper. Good effort. Oh, Kristen dealing with this tree, straddling to the right on a knee. Still oh, looks man. like she has to hyzer it. <laughs> I thought she was going to do it. <laughs> yeah, when it's all arm and you have to kind of calculate. And it's probably her first from the knee. I mean, her only for the whole tournament. Yeah, that's true. Obviously, and yeah. Having to pull it out late in the round like that. Sai and Juliana with absolute Easy birdies. And birdies. Cool to see the two backhands get it. Yeah, right? And when, when forehand seems like such a good play off the tee. Oh, not a fist bump this time. I still like it. I like oh, wait, it too. Wait, there's one from Jim. Oh, Jim saved it. <laughs> hole 15. Nope, that's you. Yeah, hole 15. It's par 3, 335. <laughs> I was going to let you do it. Uh, it is dead straight. There is OB that comes up behind the basket, and it's along the right side the entire way. Uh, usually you're just trying to pipe something straight for as long as you can, maybe kind of a tight turnover line, but if you get too much flex or fade, you're not going to park this one. You really want to go straight for as long as possible. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of hole 11 at the west course. Really tight with all the trees. Maybe a couple more avenues to take. Yeah, I think if you're going to make an error, it's to turn it over to the right, just like Juliana did. Mm -hmm. She's still looking at the basket. For a birdie. It's funny, it's only 335, but it looks so much further because the trees are so big, it makes the basket look teeny weeny. Yeah. Like it's super far away or something. Oh, Side yeah. with the perfect line. Gorgeous. Letting the disc do all the work. Plus it's that movie tunnel vision, you know. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that needs to stop. Kristen, oh man, finding, that's OB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I it like, com comes up quick on that left side. like two millimeters. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like a little forehand. Yeah, it is a little bit open on that left side. Sure. As long as you can. You just need a lot of power, which she obviously has. Get some nice turn on it. It just needs to fade now. <sighs> oh, catches a tree. And that's OB Finds too. OB. Yeah, it looked like it was starting to fade back. Almost saving the par. Yeah, that's why I like the right side. A little bit safer. Juliana gives that a bit of a run. It'll be a par. This one isn't quite in that same must-get category. It's a really tough birdie. 
even though it's a pretty short hole. Yeah, it requires a lot of precision late in the round. Looks like size got that. Played hole. Wow. Ella getting serious here. Hood Press and up. up. I mean, she's got some attitude. I mean, it's her it looks first like. bogey in a while, you know. Yeah. Things are getting serious now. Just in cleaning up the bogey as well. Fortunate. Yeah, sigh. Yeah, solo birdie. And is now tied for the round with Kristen Tatar, though still six strokes back. Hey everyone, I wanted to let you know that Jomas Pro and the Disc Golf Pro Tour are commemorating our new partnership with our biggest Patreon giveaway ever. We're flying you and a friend out for a full week of fun at the 2023 Disc Golf World Championships. This giveaway includes two round trip flights to Vermont, a full week stay at Smuggler's Knots Resort, and two world's gold passes. And these gold passes are really special. They give you the full VIP treatment you get the opportunity to play on the Pro Worlds courses, a player meet and greet, exclusive merchandise, and more. The winner will be announced on June 9th, so what you need to do is go to jomezpro.com slash VIP Worlds. There you'll find all the details and information on how to enter. Good luck to you all, and let's get back to the video. All right, hole 16, 330 feet, par three, I mean, this is another very reachable hole. The shape is a little difficult because you either have to have a late turn or try and finagle something on that right side. And it's just another one you really, really want to get. You do. Yeah, you can definitely flex it out wide to the right and get around kind of that final tree. I like starting it like on the hyzer flip and then something really flippy that drifts just like what Sai's doing here. So she stumbling out into that oh, tree, man. man, close, and still a great yeah. shot, honestly. She'll have a wide open look for a birdie I think she might even still be in the circle. Yeah. Juliana opting to take the right side of those trees with something more stable. All right, Crusher, take it easy. <laughs> She's going to have a 40-something foot putt for birdie. Forehand. Man, some of these forehands are really surprising me. Yeah. It just seems so long for a forehand shot. Kristen's pretty pretty strong. Pretty good. I got caught up in those branches. Took a little bit out of it, but it looks like she'll at least split this, the trees right there. Oh, interesting. That's a swirly MD1. Look at all oh, this power on this wow. mid-range. Tries to ring it up. <laughs> Oh, speaking of which, I got to yeah. give a huge shout out to Maria Oliva. She was on my card. She threw in her thought space votum. It was beautiful. It was film. Go check that out. Super cool ace. Yes, oh, yes Juliana. Juliana. <laughs> I, wanna, I hope we get to see the slow-mo reaction because it feels so good to hit a big one when you've been close all day. Yeah. She's a, yes, girl, yes. She's, she's such a patient <laughs> golfer. You know, she just plays her game. Man, I love the pure joy on her face Absolutely. too. Absolutely, keeps us coming back time and time again playing mm -hmm. this this sport. I love love for the sport, you know. Wow, Kristen, a little high on her birdie bid. Mm -hmm. Sigh for a turkey. Nice. Uh, gobble, gobble. <laughs> she got it. Ah, uh, I'm leaving it low. And yeah, she's some frustration there. Pretty mad, it looks like. Yeah, she's had a really clean back nine and just to uh, have that one little bogey. I think she'll. It's gotta be frustrating. Put on a sweatshirt with another hood. <laughs> she's even more upset. Just keep adding hoods. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, the multi bump. Oh. A couple oh. of great birdies on that hole. Yeah, so I really eaten up the last few holes. Only five strokes back now of Kristen. Hole 17, you shoot through a pretty narrow gap off the tee. You want to get somewhere in this tree line. There is a bunker on the left you don't want to mess with. You want to land somewhere around here and then kind of just pick your gap on the second shot. There's not any one gap. You're just kind of picking the biggest one. Um, a lot of times you see sidearms kind of from the left hand side working over to the right that just depends on where you land off the tee i think some of the big arms can really push into those trees a little more off the tee and Hit it actually makes it a little bit more open for the upshot she looked like she put something on that but it looks stable though yeah she's kind fading. of been flipping her discs over all day and that one was yeah i almost wonder what that was because that was really stable yeah it didn't flip at all Size going to be in the hazard. Yeah. Looking to save par from there. I think the wind might have been a little tricky. Maybe she opted for something more stable. Juliana working the road runner here. Nice flippy disc. And great oh, yeah. line. As long as she's not right behind a tree, which mm -hmm. she might be, I think the right side is slightly more blocked. But if you have a line, um, you can throw a nice chip shot backhand from over there. The gaps are just smaller. Kristen pushing that grace fast and low into those trees, hopefully giving herself. Oh. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Wide open over there. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Ella taking the left? Roller. Roller. Oh, that's come, on, come on, come, come on, come on. Come on, fight. Fight. Oh. Yes. Okay. She rolled the entire length she of rolled, that bunker. Yeah. And then got to the other side of that fence. That's so great. The crowd loved it too. Mm. Yes, I, I don't know if maybe the get... sand was part of that issue there, but. Yeah, I'm not even sure if she was trying to get to the basket or, or just yeah, I'm not conceding sure. the bogey there. Juliana does have a gap and hits it really nice. Mm -hmm. She's up 20 feet again for another birdie. Ella looked like she was dealing with some trees in her way, but it don't matter. She's just outside the bullseye for a birdie. I like how you picked up my little, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Kristen, nearly in putting range. That's crazy. Yeah. Another harp little forehand upshot. Kind of leaving her, she's kind of been leaving the upshot short. Just a hair short. And yeah. by short, I mean like outside the bullseye short, but yeah. definitely not as but usually they're, controlled as we've seen from her all week. Usually they're uh, in the bullseye every time. She's slipping. <laughs> Seems to be giving her, uh, herself a lot of 20 footers today. Oh, rare air ball. Yeah, she airballed the, the last hole as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, but that one was like a 45 okay. footer. That was surprising. Yeah, very. To not catch any middle. So I'm making a nice little putt to save bogey. Juliana with a great birdie. Two in a row. And really a solid back nine after that double bogey on hole nine. Yeah, she had that double bogey on nine. She had that bogey on two. Other than that, flawless. And, yeah. And Ella with a really fancy roller and a great birdie of her own. Wow, look at that. Kristen, Sai, and Juliana all six down on the round as well as Paige Pierce. That's amazing. Emily Beach in the clubhouse with a six down. Hole 18, our final hole, 775 feet, par five. We have this little pond here where you can either lay up to the left of it or bomb it over top of it. That mando tree keeps you from having that easy hyzer up shot. So you kind of just have to really be precise on your upshots out here, especially since the wind comes a lot more into play being out in the open. Mm -hmm. 
to clear the pond, I'd say it's only about 275 or so, mm -hmm. but it feels longer. Yeah, you kind of have to hit this gap. Yeah, most ladies gonna take the right side gap, let it fade to the left. There's a bit of a right to left wind out there as well. This looks great. Down. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. There is more room it, than you think over there. Yeah, I, so it's always opened up right there. It's yeah. always a moment of like, oh, oh, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, Rebecca, you're totally right. That second shot gets so skinny. And this looks huge from Ella. Like, so huge. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's great. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. They did take away a mandatory to make this hole slightly easier. I want to say it was on that first set of trees that Ella just hit. Like last year, yeah. she might have missed the mando. Mm, I see um, what you're saying. And it wasn't, I don't think it was helpful. Mm -hmm. um, the second mandatory does the job. So I think that was a really smart change. Let's just sit down. <laughs> That's a great shot. <laughs> it is a great shot. Sai so always tricks me. I'm like, oh, stand still? Yeah. Off the tee? <laughs> She's only using three more feet. Yeah. Stand still. I know. I know. <laughs> that looks great. Yeah. It looks kind of stable too. Or maybe it's just that wind that's pushing everything over there. Mm hmm. Such a skinny shot. Really tough on the backhand. This is definitely the mistake to make. There is, you know, there's those trees on the right, but the OB is much farther over there. It's really easy to find the left side. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow, side pushing against the wind with the Anheuser. So I mean, pretty. So great. That's how you know you trust your disc. She lined herself up over the OB and threw over the OB with an Anheuser. Perfect execution from Sai. Kristen able to take the sidearm, which is definitely the slightly safer play, fading uh, away from that tight OB line towards the pin. Ooh, is it not safer? Uh -oh. oh, I think she's, I think she's fine. You're clapping. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. It was riskier than I yeah. thought it would be. Yeah, with Sai not having the forehand, I can see why she would have so much control over her disc. Yeah. And Ella with the sidearm, I mean, that's all you need. Yeah, she's in great position to She'll birdie. She'll have a really basic upshot, pretty much. Juliana with, what a do you think, bit. like 230? Yeah. Two, maybe 250 tops. Just that a little low, but. She was dealing with that ceiling right on that last tree. Yeah. Probably didn't want to leave too much air under it. Kristen with one final harp approach. She's going backhand this time. Wow, she put a lot of power on that thing. And it's great. Yeah. Chris, about 18, eh, 20 feet left on an elevated pin to go seven down on the day. Hot round right now is Emily Beach at that six down. Oh, Ella kind of clipping a tree, but it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Great tagline. So I, I mean, oh. nearly an eagle oh. range. It kind of looks like she was trying to ring that up. And yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. That, that wind's still, you know, trifling up there. I don't know. Trifling. She might have left it a little higher than she meant to, but. Julia lays up for a par. She's going to finish six down. Wow, what a great round. Uh-huh. Saying she can't keep up. Six yeah. down with a double bogey and Imagine a bogey. Imagine having five world titles and thinking you can't keep up. Yeah. Okay, we see you. Side long of the basket for her birdie. Yeah, nuts. And what a showcase of talent. Absolutely. She's playing so well. Look at all those people. So I'm going to finish at that seven down mark as well as Kristen. So Kristen's going to maintain that six stroke lead on side that she started the day with. It's going to be hard to reel her in tomorrow. I don't. <laughs> like Kristen Tatar is not <laughs> someone you think, like, oh yeah, I can, I can <laughs> catch her. Right. You know? Wow, crazy to see three birdies on this hole and, like, mm, not as many birdies on the easiest holes. Yeah, it is interesting. 
Ella gonna finish with a five down on the day. A couple of bogeys, a couple of misfires. Um, but five down is still so good. Oh, it's so funny good. that it, she like looks disappointed with it, you know? <laughs> I mean, she was the only one not to birdie that hole. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Kristen Tatar, Sayananda with that fire emoji as well. Um, let's see, Juliana Corva, Corver at six down, Missy Gannon gonna take Ooh. our fourth spot um, with a six down round. Emily Beach owns Scoggins also at six down. Madison Walker shot a six down as well. Um, it's crazy. You have to shoot 940 golf just to make the cut line. There's a 50% cut today. Yeah. Maria Oliva got the last spot going ace birdie birdie <laughs> in the last couple of holes. It was nuts. Um, yeah, the field's getting really good. Mm -hmm. That was some excellent golf to watch. Absolutely. Excited to see tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Final day. <laughs> Coxcomb commentary yeah. on an elite plus event out here in Portland. Oh, baby. Prepare yourselves. I, I don't know. How do you? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. As always, we're having a ton of fun in the booth. Thanks to Jomez. Thanks to the Founders Club. Join us tomorrow for the final round of the Portland Open. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. I'm Rebecca Cox. Coxcomb commentary. Yeah.